everybody, welcome back to Under Look Up. Uh, today I thought we'd talk about the SKX, uh, the 009 and the 007, everyone's favorites. And um, since it's already been reviewed to death, uh, TGV actually has done a very good uh, video on this already. Uh, what I think we do is uh, just take a look at how versatile they are and um, try them on with all different straps and so on. Uh, I do have quite a few NATOs, probably not as many as TGV, but uh, maybe a close second. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's look into it. Alright, so um, you guys are probably confused right now, why do I have the SKXs on a Cohiba box? Well, other than holding cigars, cigar boxes are very good at holding, holding straps. Ta-da! So we'll go in here and we'll take a look at the straps and see what uh, what works and what doesn't. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is I love these uh, lug bars. They have the quick release, uh, I guess bolt action type things right on the side. It makes it very easy to change straps. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I buy most of my straps from Fossil. Uh, another reason why I buy my straps from Fossil is there is a Fossil outlet um, close to my house. And you can get $5 straps uh, from Fossil. Sorry for the out-of-focus fo fuzziness. So <clears throat> there's a tip for you there. Uh, if you are in North America, uh, I know that uh, up here in Canada, uh, I'm in the greater Toronto area. Uh, there's um, a place called the Toronto Premium Outlets, and the Fossil store there does have $5 straps. Uh, most of them are NATO, but they do have some leather ones if you're lucky sometimes. So uh, let's dive in. So you've already seen the 007 on a red and black NATO strap. Let's see what else goes with it. Let's pause. All right, so I just put it on a brown leather NATO strap. Um, I actually didn't get this one from Fossil. I got it from uh, Strapco, uh, right there. Uh, this is not sponsored uh, at all, uh, neither by Fossil or by Strapco. Uh, this is more of a guide on how to get uh, watch straps for your watch. Sometimes even if, you, if you're bored of a watch um, or you're itching for a new watch, uh, uh, strap change is all you actually really need. Um, and I guess this can be a small guide on, on how to buy straps as well. Uh, what I would recommend is if you are looking for a strap for a certain watch, wear that watch when you go out looking for straps. Uh, there's nothing worse than to buy a strap and then uh, coming home and realizing that uh, it isn't exactly what you were looking for. So let's try another strap. All right, uh, here's a 007 on a red leather NATO strap. Uh, this one is from Fossil. Um, I got this because I thought it would make it pop. Uh, it does have the, the black uh, furniture to match uh, and the red it, it, I know the lettering is a little bit more orange, but it does complement it slightly. Okay, uh, so I just put it on a leather uh, strap, uh, also from Fossil. Uh, you can, uh, I guess, dress up the watch a little as well. Um, I do wear this <clears throat> when the weather is colder, um, and I wear it to the office. So uh, the worst thing is trying to wear um, a watch on a NATO uh, when you're wearing uh, cuffed shirts, I find it's not as comfortable. All right, I put it on another leather strap. Uh, I put it on this light brown. Um, I also like the fact that it's black on the edges here. Uh, however, this strap would actually look uh, very good on uh, the uh, 009 as well. I'll just go ahead and swap it out. All right, uh, here it is. And yeah. Looking good. Uh, to be honest, I think I usually reach out uh, for 
the 009 more than the 007. Uh, mostly because uh, when I wear, um, what I wear is mostly red and blues. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, uh, here is the 007 on a red and black NATO. Um, I think we'll do a few more and wrap it up here. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long, but you can see the versatility of these uh, watches. This is the 009 on a blue silicone strap. It has some uh, white stitching, uh, which I kind of like. Kind of uh, makes it look less like a rubber strap and more like, uh, I don't know, something a little bit more fun. Lastly, what I would recommend is to play on the colors that are already there. Uh, so the blue and the red of the SKX on a red and blue NATO strap. Okay, I think uh, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you for watching guys, and like always, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, and check out my Instagram uh, for more pictures and uh, for to stay up to date with my watch reviews. Um, Hopefully sometime soon I will be able to uh, bring in a second segment uh, to this channel. Uh, I'll be interviewing other uh, people uh, with watch collections, either small or large. And uh, I'm not going to be a watch snob, even if they are fashion watches, I'd like to bring them on and see their perspective. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.